Hello everyone, my name is Alex from Ernest Alex Reads and today I'm going to be talking about the books that I read in the first part of September. So in the month of September I ended up reading 14 books and I'm going to split my September wrap up into two videos so that I can um, try to talk a little bit more about the books and I just generally like having wrap ups. Um, two video wrap-ups like a mid-month and an end of the month. Uh, for the past couple months I haven't managed to do that um, and in September I just decided we're gonna split it anyway. It will there will be two wrap-ups at the end of the month. So that is just a little bit of information. Um, this is part one and part two will come up. It will be the next video that I upload. So if you're interested in hearing more of my September reading journey it's just gonna be two videos. Um, so without further ado let's talk about some books. The first book that I read in the month of September was uh, part of my September TBR um, and that was The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider. Um, I unfortunately did not like this book uh, at all. Um, I gave it two stars. Uh, one of the reasons why I didn't really vibe with this book um, at this stage in my life is because it was written in 2013 and it is a contemporary romance set in high school written in 2013 and it feels uh yeah it's a real book of its time and I just wasn't really into that. Um, I didn't enjoy my reading experience so I gave this book two stars. The next book that I completed was um, a much better reading experience. I completed the audiobook of Artemis Fowl by Owen Coffer. Um, this is a childhood fave of mine. I loved the Artemis Fowl series and I thought I would reread it. Um, I participated in the scooby doo -a -thon. Uh, really low-key and this was one of the prompts and I listened to it and it was just such a nostalgia trip. I loved it. It's amazing how many one-liners I still remember from whenever I read it or I may have even listened to it the first time. I don't remember um, but I have like distinct memories of me consuming the series. Um, and it was great to be back with the characters and I'm still waiting for a movie. I remember watching, <laughs> I remember reading this book and then like going on the internet, typing up to see if there was a movie deal, realizing there was a movie deal and there still hasn't been a movie. <laughs> there was recently a trailer and I'm 25 years old. So yeah, four stars. I don't know if I said that. I give Artemis Fowl four stars. <laughs> Um, the third book that I read was my first, second, was my second ebook of the year and that was This Is How You Lose a Time War by Amal L. Mutar and Max Gladstone. Um, this is an amazing, hauntingly beautiful, um, super romantic female-female romance um, that follows two, two agents on opposite sides of a time war and they end up starting to write letters to each other um, and fall in love like a, a crazy star-crossed romance um, through all of time and it was so beautiful, so poetic, so wonderfully written. Um, I highly recommend it. I give it four stars just because I wished it was like a full novel. <laughs> I wanted just more of this. I wanted more of the world. I wanted to see more of the time travel because it's so poetic. I just wanted more. That's why I gave it four stars. Highly recommend though. Then the next book I picked up was Spinning Silver by Naomi Novak. I have been wanting to delve into Naomi Novak's writing for a while and in September I did. I started off with Spinning Silver. Um, this is like a retelling of Rumpelstiltskin. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong but I don't know how to say it right. Huh. Anyway, follows uh, three women and how their lives are interconnected. There's a 
supernatural magical feel to this. Um, it definitely feels like a fairy tale. It was a wonderful, wonderful reading experience and I gave this book four stars as well. After reading Spinning Silver, I just wanted to consume more of Naomi Novak's writing and stories and I immediately picked up and completed Uprooted, also by Naomi Novak. Um, this book is also has a lot of um, fairy tale vibes. It's written like an amazing fairy tale. This is a well-beloved book um, on booktube and I finally read it and I enjoyed it. I really loved um, the two, I guess, uh, Aneshka and the dragon and it was just a lovely, lovely reading experience and I gave this book four stars as well. I then picked up a little bit of a departure for me um, and I read Eye of the Needle by Ken Follett. This follows a German spy in England during World War II and he kind of uncovers um, the Allies' plans and it follows him trying to get this information back to Germany and all of the Allied, not all of the Allied powers, but um, you know, uh, the British Secret Service basically um, trying to capture him. Um, I was very intrigued. I was very caught up in this book. I really enjoyed it even though uh, it's not the book that I would necessarily pick up. Um, I read this also as part of the Scooby-Doo-a-thon but also because it is one of my husband's favorite books. <laughs> so I finally read it. Um, quite liked it, uh, was very into it when I was reading it, um, yeah, four stars. And the last book that I'm going to talk about in part one of my September reading wrap-up um, is also a departure for me because it is a non-fiction book. Um, my first non-fiction book of 2019. I picked up Red completed and completely fell in love with this nonfiction title. Um, this is The Adventures of Maud West, Lady Detective by Susanna Stapleton. This is a book all about Maud West, who was a lady detective in the golden age of crime, I guess, between the two world wars. Um, she is a fascinating character and the author of this book kind of stumbles across her name and goes on a adventure to f try to figure out who Maud West was um, and what she was doing and about her life. This book was basically um, the author just like actually doing the research and finding little tidbits about Maud West in newspapers and in interviews and in records and all that kind of stuff and each chapter build on the other one and you get more and more information um, and I absolutely loved it. I was so invested. I read it in three days which is incredible for a nonfiction book for me um, and it's kind of each chapter is interspersed with stories written by the actual Maud West. <laughs> I highly recommend it and I gave this book five stars. It was so good. These are actual pictures of Maud West in all of her disguises. It was so good. And those were the seven books that I completed in around the first part of um, September. Uh, here they are. Here they are. Um, so look out for my September wrap up part two. Um, if you want to hear about more books that I read um, and my thoughts on them, there are some five stars, there are some two stars in that batch as well. So if you're interested, please watch that video, I guess. Um, other than that, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're reading an amazing book. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.